we animated the top 11 Mitch Hedberg jokes. And here's the countdown. Do frame, party or two. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a beat whenever we upload new content. All right, let's go. You only go to a restaurant on the weekends, it gets busy, so they gotta start a waiting list. They start calling out names. They say, like, Dufresne, party of two. Table ready for Dufresne, party of two. And if no one answers, they'll say the name again. Dufresne, party of two. But then if no one answers, they'll just go right on to the next name. Bush, party of three. Yeah, but what happened to the Dufresnes? No one seems to care. <laughs> Who can eat at a time like this? People are missing. You people are selfish. The Dufresnes are in someone's trunk right now with duct tape over their mouth. And they're hungry. That's a triple whammy. We need help. Bush, search party of three. You can eat once you find the Dufresnes. I like an escalator, man, because an escalator can never break. It can only become stairs. <laughs> All right. There would, there would never be an escalator temporarily out of order sign. Only an escalator temporarily stairs. <laughs> Sorry for the convenience. I used to do drugs. I still do, but I used to too. <laughs> Acid was my favorite drug. Acid opened up my mind and expanded my mind. <laughs> because of acid, I now know that butter is way better than margarine. I saw through the bullshit. <laughs> when I was on acid, I would see things like beams of light. And I would hear sounds that sounded an awful lot like car horns. <laughs> when we were on acid, we were going to the woods, because when you're in the woods trip, and there's less likely a chance he'd run into an authority figure. <laughs> but we ran into a bear. <laughs> that was even more of a buzz kill. My friend Dwayne was standing there, raising his right hand, swearing to help prevent forest fires. <laughs> I went to England to tell jokes, and I wanted to do my Smokey the Bear joke in England. So I had to ask the English people if they know who Smokey the Bear was. But they don't. Because in England, Smokey the Bear is not the forest fire prevention representative. They have Smacky the Frog. <laughs> it's a lot like a bear, but it's a frog. And I think that's a better system. I think we should adopt it. Because bears can be mean. <laughs> but frogs are always cool. I never has there been a frog hopping toward me. And I thought, man, I better play dead. Here comes that frog. I've never said, here comes that frog in a horrifying manner. It's always like optimistic. Like, hey, here comes that frog. All right. Maybe he will settle near me. And I can pet him. And put him in a mayonnaise jar with a stick and a leaf <laughs> to recreate what he's used to. I don't have a girlfriend. I just know a girl who would get really mad if she heard me say that. I used to live here in Los Angeles on Sierra Bonita and I had an apartment and I had a neighbor and whenever he would knock on my wall I knew he wanted me to turn my music down and that made me angry because I like loud music 
so they knocked on the wall and messed with his head. I'd say, go around. I cannot open the wall. I don't know if you have a doorknob on the other side, but over here there's nothing. It's just flat. My friend asked me if I wanted a frozen banana. But I said no, but I want a regular banana later. So, yeah. I want to be a race car passenger. <laughs> Just a guy who bugs the driver. <laughs> Say, man, can I turn on the radio? You should slow down. Well, we gotta keep going in circles. Man, you really like Tide. I tried to walk into Target, but I missed. I think the entrance to Target should have people splattered all around. I was in downtown Boise, Idaho, and I saw a duck, and I knew the duck was lost, because ducks ain't supposed to be downtown. There's nothing for them there. So I went to a Subway sandwich shop. I said, let me have a bun. But she wouldn't sell me just the bun. She said I had to have something on it. She told me it's against regulations for Subway to sell just the bun. I guess the two halves ain't supposed to touch. So I said, all right, we'll put some lettuce on it, which I did. They said, that'll be $1.75. I said, it's for a duck. They said, all right, well, then it's free. See, I did not know that. Ducks eat for free at Subway. <laughs> Had I known that, I ordered a much larger sandwich. <laughs> Let me have the steak fajita sub. But don't bother ringing it up. It's for a duck. <laughs> there are six ducks out there. And they all want sun chips. <laughs> I was walking by a dry cleaner at 3 a.m. And the sign said, sorry, we're closed. You don't have to be sorry. It's 3 a.m. and you're a dry cleaner. <laughs> it would be ridiculous for me to expect you to be open. <laughs> I'm not gonna walk in at 10 and say, hey man, I walked by at three, you guys were closed. Somebody owes me an apology. So there you have it, guys. Which one was your favorite? Let us know in the comments. You can also vote on the comedy animation that you wanna see next. Until then, like, subscribe, and share so that we can keep on doing these.